East used to be the premier basketball conference in the country, and Big Monday on ESPN was much-watched TV for all members of the conference. Now, on January 25th, 1988, Providence College was visiting the Pitt Panthers, and all was lively Fitzgerald Fieldhouse. That night, Jerome Lane provided one of the greatest plays in Big East college basketball history, as well as Pittsburgh sports history. And Bill Raftery, he provided us with one of the all-time great calls in sports. Very closely to what I am saying. Pitt is on the rise and there's no delaying. Exciting the crowd with the style we're playing and all our adversaries, we will be slaying like the video was just Demetrius having fun, uh, talking about Pitt being up up and coming in the big east. And getting all the boards like he is insane is a board crashing brother, Jerome Lane. But once we start rocking, we shall not see until we attain the title of the beast of the end. I think that it made a true a true impact on where we were viewed going into the 87-88 season. Well, at the time when we got there, you know, the basketball team was probably the lowest on the total pole. It was either the Steelers or the Pitt football team. We had All-American Charles Smith, Jerome Lane, Demetrius Score, the point guard Sean Miller. Things were looking up and we were ready to roll and, and make a national title run. I'm Jerome Lane, the biggest quitter in this school. Gets a little tough, I quit. I think Coach Evans was trying to push Jerome to be the best that he could. Good time, bad time relationship. And he always challenged all of us to be more aggressive. He was on Charles and Jerome a little bit more than everybody else. Me and Charles is great friends. You know, we always compete, you know. Charles Smith had dunked and cracked a rim earlier in the year. But nobody saw Charles do that because it was in practice. <laughs> Monday on ESPN from the Big East Providence at Pittsburgh. A standing room only crowd has turned out in the Fitzgerald Fieldhouse as the nationally ranked Pittsburgh Panthers taking on the Providence College Friars. Now, a lot of people are asking the question, Bill, does Jerome Lane need to score more for Pittsburgh to be a Final Four team? He was the strongest player I ever played against, and I played against some pretty strong players. He was a man among boys. A big six junior from Akron, Ohio, number 34, Jerome Lane. Brooks and Key, of course, as Bill mentioned, and we're underway. Smith and Steve Wright, the Whether it was a blizzard or chilly or just ice on the ground, it was a relief for the students to get in the building, and then they just let loose. Fitzgerald was crazy. Fans were ready to go. The first minutes of the game, I think both teams were trying to fill each other out. It was just a, a simple steal or a loose ball. I picked it up. And, you know, on a three-on-one, I think one of the things you learn as a point guard is you look and you choose your, your better finisher. Birth, no trouble. Now they loop it in the right, and nobody's home, picked off by Miller. All of a sudden, a fast break takes place, and Sean Miller, the choreographer for this team, uh, comes over the timeline. I know if you gave it to him, I was going to, you know, dunk it. Flames on the other wing. You... Oh! Oh! When Jerome broke the backboard, it literally sounded like someone throwing a brick through a huge glass window. Yeah! Send it in, Jerome! <laughs> Mike finished the call, and I'm sitting here and I'm going, this is incredible. Over the years, uh, guys have used different ways of describing the dunk, and it just made sense to say, send it in, Jerome! Like, later on, Mike said, where'd you come up with that? I had no idea. Oh, man, the crowd went berserk for about a good, man, two, three, four minutes, man. Golly, it was like, couldn't believe it. The, the little panther running around with the glass, running around, throwing it everywhere. The game was delayed. I don't remember exactly how long, but it seemed like an eternity, 20, 30 minutes. They were live on TV forever. They're going to get the backup backboard into place in Pittsburgh. Now, don't go away. Even though Jerome Lane has thrown a major uh, monkey wrench into the entire scheduling of a major network this evening with that broken backboard. When we started playing again, Jerome got another uh, fast break, and it was like the same angle. He went to go dunk it, and it didn't break. Oh, get him out of the game! That's ridiculous! <laughs> the game ended. Uh, it was a blowout. Um, 
who won by a large margin. Providence was a little dejected given the final score of the game and given the turn of events. They knew it would probably be international news. I'm sure there, there are pieces of glass all over Pittsburgh sitting on a view or mounted on some trophy. Maybe about two weeks, two weeks later, I've seen people having rings and necklaces of the glass coming to the game. I was crazy. And the only thing I ever got was the rim. As the years have gone on and traveling through airports, I'll hear people say to me, send it in Jerome out of the blue. I should say to Jerome, thanks for making me famous. You know, I played many years that you played in the NBA. My legacy is just the dunk. I'm glad they still know me for something. All right, first of all, I can't believe it's been 30 years, but secondly, right. for what we do, yeah. and this is why it's even a question, but for what we do, what would you rather have? Would you rather be Jerome, who dunked it, or would you rather be Bill Raftery, who had the all-time iconic call and be as, uh, listen, as broadcaster? Listen, I guess I guess there's no shot at me ever doing what Jerome Lane did physically, right. and Bill Raftery is one of my heroes. That's what I choose. So you want the call? I want the call. Yes? Oh, yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you.